I'm David Cantor and I developed and indeed named the new field of investigative psychology. In a nutshell, investigative psychology is dealing with the information the police have and making that as effective as possible, including interviewing and detecting deception, making inferences from that information, often called profiling, getting some idea of the characteristics of the offender, and then supporting that um, in police decision-making and developing systems that help the police to actually be more effective in how they carry out their work. Those three components, information, inference, and decision-making, uh, is the essence of investigative psychology. I would like to think the greatest legacy of investigative psychology is opening, first of all, psychologists' eyes to the fact that there is a different way of doing psychology that relates to the real world and to the decisions that people have to cope with. Because there's a huge tendency in psychology um, to study issues that are of interest to other psychologists, but may not really help to connect with the real world.